Hello everyone. You are watching a spoken English video lesson by Aru Publications. I am your spoken English trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson I shall be teaching you all about the simple future tense. Well, the simple future tense is one of the four future tenses that we use to talk about the future. The simple future tense can be expressed using three structures. Let's look at them one by one. Let's also look at some examples and learn more about the simple future tense. Let's get started. The first structure that you can use is the simplest of all. It simply has the simple structure subject plus will plus the base form of the verb. So this is the affirmative form. As I told you earlier in our videos, every tense has got three types of sentences. In every tense, you can form three types of sentences. The affirmative, the negative and the interrogative. So the simple future has the structure subject plus will plus the base form of the verb. And the negative form is subject plus will not, which is won't in short, plus the base form of the verb, which is the negative form. And when you want to ask a question with this structure, you use will plus subject plus base form of the verb. This is called the interrogative sentence. So when you want to make a sentence, for example, you say, I will meet you tomorrow. This is affirmative. And when you want to make the negative, you say, I will not meet you tomorrow. And when you want to make a question, you say, will you meet me tomorrow or will, will you meet me tomorrow or will I meet you tomorrow and so on. So we ask questions with will in the simple future tense. Now let's look at the uses of this particular structure, will plus base form of the verb. We use this will plus base form of the verb to talk about a plan, to express a promise. It is also used to express future guesses and predictions. And it is used to express willingness. Willingness means that you are ready to do something. And lastly, it is used to express instant decisions. Now let's look at one, look at some examples based on the structure will plus base form of the verb. I will call you tomorrow. This is a plan or this is an assurance that you're giving someone. He will return from the US next year. This is a plan. Our team will certainly win. This is a prediction or a guess. I think I'll go to bed. So this is an instant decision that you're taking. Next year we'll have elections. You're talking about the future plan, the future prediction or the guess. I think it will rain this evening. Here also you are making a prediction. I don't think we'll reach on time. This is a prediction you are making because you feel that you're not actually able to go as fast as you want to and you, are, you can get late. They will come tomorrow. This is a plan. I will help you with the work. This is a promise. So in all these sentences, you observe that we use will plus the base form of the verb to talk about different things and talk about the future in general. Now let's move on to the second structure, structure two, where you use a different structure to talk about the future. We shall learn the structure and then follow it up with the uses and also some examples. The structure of simple future tense here is subject plus am, is, are plus going to plus verb. In other words, you can also call it as be plus going to plus verb. This is the affirmative form. And the negative form is subject plus am not, is not, are not plus going to plus verb and the question form or the interrogative form is am is are plus subject plus going to plus verb to give you an example we could say i'm going to visit my hometown 
And what is the negative form? I am not going to visit my hometown this week. If you want to make a question, will you or here you use, are you going to visit your hometown this week? Here we can use will, but when you are asking about, asking a question in this particular structure, you can use are. Now let's look at what the uses of this structure to is. It is used to talk about future intentions and plans. It's also used to talk about something already decided at the time of speaking. So in simple words, you can say that this structure subject plus am is are plus going to plus verb is a structure that is used when you have decided to do something. Will plus verb is something about a plan, a promise, a willingness, a guess or a prediction. Whereas be going to plus the verb is used for a decision. Now let's look at some examples. The sky is getting dark. It's going to rain. There is no milk in the house. I'm going to buy some. So this is an intention. I feel very tired. I'm going to take rest. This is also an intention. This is something you have decided to do. They find this house too small. They're going to move into a bigger house. It means that they have the intention to change the house. My English is bad. I'm going to join an English course. This is a decision you have taken. Tomorrow is Sunday. I'm going to wake up late. So this is a situation. This is an intention. So I hope you understand the difference between will plus the base form of the verb and amizar plus going to plus verb. This is something that is decided. That is different. Will plus base form of the verb is different. So learn to you know, distinguish between the two when you start using them. Next, let's go to the structure three of the simple future tense. This is also very interesting. And let's look at the structure and the use of this structure. Subject plus amizar plus verb plus ing is the affirmative form. Subject plus am not, is not, are not plus verb plus ing is the negative form. And am, is, are plus subject plus verb plus ing is the interrogative form. Well, you may be surprised to see that this structure resembles or is similar to the present continuous structure. Well, this can be used even to express future plans. But what kind of plans? Let's look at the structure and now the use. We are leaving tomorrow. Now, what does this mean? We are leaving tomorrow means that we are definitely going to move. There's no change in our program. When you want to say you are definitely going to do something, when it's a definite plan, we always use this third structure. They are shifting tomorrow. He's joining duty next week. I'm going out this evening. He's getting married next month. We are moving into a new house next week. So look at all these sentences. You just have am, is, are, plus the ing form of the verb. And here you're talking about definite plans that are unchangeable. So we have learned all about the three types of plans. The first one is will plus base form of the verb, where you can talk about a plan, a prediction, a guess, prediction or a guess. You can talk about a promise, willingness, and also to talk about instant decisions. So will plus base form of the verb is quite different. And the second structure that you learnt is am, is, are plus going to plus verb, where you talk about some intention or you talk about a decision. And the third structure that we were talking about is am, is, are plus verb plus ing, where you talk about a definite plan, a plan that cannot be changed, an unchangeable plan. So I hope you understand and you have understood all the three structures that we use to talk about the future in simple future tense. And make an effort to make your own sentences. As I told you, pick up a notebook, write your plans in different structures. If it is a simple plan, write it uh, with will, and if it's a decided plan, then use going to plus verb. And if it's a definite plan, 
write am is r plus v verb plus ing make different plans in your notebook write different sentences about what you're planning to do make negative sentences and also learn how to make the questions the structure is for you to see in the video you can pause the video here and there and try to observe how the sentences have been made and you can practice them on your own and what's more you can use them in your daily conversations this is one of the most important tenses because we speak about the future all the time so i'm sure you enjoyed watching this video and it was very useful and interesting too Thank you very much for watching. Do keep watching our videos. We'll come back with more. Do like, share and subscribe to our videos. And goodbye for now.